Hi guys and welcome back to the first video in January. Um, so today, today's video is going to be a reflections of 2019 and what I am excited for slash expect of 2020. Um, so reflecting back on 2019, it's been a bit, a bit of a crappy year let's say with health scares and deaths within the family and people I know um, but among those crappy times there have been some amazing times and memories that I have created that I thought I'd reflect on and share with you guys um, so yeah um, one of the most things that I have loved in 2019 is the amount of time quality time I got to spend with my family and friends um, so I spent a lot of time with my cousin Katie and her two amazing children Oscar and Olivia um, we did um, picnics at Hainault Forest where, where we then went to see the animals and found out that the kids love animals um, and then we also went to Wellgate, I think it's Wellgate Farm we went to, like Festive Farm and found out that Oscar loves ducks and everything goes quack, even sheep, there we go. Um, uh, so yeah, I really love spending quality time with them and I'm definitely going to do that in 2020. Um, yeah, I just love that. I also spent some quality time with mum and dad when I went away down to our chalet in Norfolk. We had a few amazing days down there where we went to um, Burr Castle and we see the Roman Fort. Um, I really enjoyed that, like that day out. It's like me and my dad when we, when I was younger, whenever we used to go away, we used to go on little adventures, um, and that was just like one of our little adventures that we went on, and it was amazing, and I loved that day. Um, so as well as spending a lot of quality time with my family, I also spent some good times with my friends. So I went to Spain. Um, to celebrate my birthday with Megan and that was a good holiday um, so yeah I love that I also spent some good quality time with my friend Charlotte we went to a spa now I'll definitely recommend that I loved it um, definitely need to do it again Charlotte so We've got to set that one up this year um yeah like that was amazing like the the treatments we got was like unreal i loved it um so did that i also went to uh Al alexandra palace or ali pali um to see their bonfire night um show fireworks thing whatever you call it um, and with Megan and that I really enjoyed doing that as well that was really good I also to end the year we also went to Winter Wonderland with my friend Charlotte that was the funniest day ever like I did not stop laughing I loved it so much um, oh, excuse me um, yeah so that was amazing. Um, so we're definitely gonna do that again this year. Um, so yeah, and things that I've got coming up that I'm looking forward to in 2020 are I've got a holiday booked to Florida in September with my friend Megan. I can't wait to get there basically. I have been buying stuff for a whole year for this holiday and I'm still buying stuff so my bank's not happy but I can't wait 
Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to vlogging that. I can't wait to do that. Um, I am also looking forward to like random days out with Katie, Charlotte, Megan, um, whoever else um, along the way. I, I can't wait to do like random little days out and vlog those. Um, I'm also, one thing I do want to do this year is there's an app called Lucky Trip. Now I see an advertisement for this with Alfie Days um, and when I looked at the app and the advertisement I was like oh my god that's so cool and basically what it is is it's a like holiday app that you put in your details of of a, like your budget your, your budget your the date like the nights and days that you want so how long you want a holiday for um, and your type of activity so whether it's adventure relaxation whatever it is that you want and this app finds you a hotel and activities for you to do it finds the whole package within this one app for you um, it finds the locations everything um, and I want to just do a random just put in my budget what I want and then just do a random trip um, if I show you the if I show you the let me show you the app so you you get what I mean so this is the app so here I don't know if you can see that look so you you put in so here just here you put in your budget so say my budget's going to be say 250 so I, that's in there click lucky and it just starts finding them for you so this one is 242 pound for three nights per person and it's to Palma. But if I push lucky again, it then comes up and it's it finds you a different location. So this has found me Luxembourg for £249. So it's all within your budget. It's all within your budget, um, and I just think that'd be some that'd be like a cool thing to do. Just like do a random holiday to a random place. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to that, and I'm definitely gonna do that this year. Who with? I don't know, but it's on my list of things to do. So I'm definitely gonna do that. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to what 2020 holds really. I'm not, in 2019 I put so much pressure on myself to do things like, um, I, I want to get out of my job and get a new job. So I put so much pressure on me getting out of my job that I just stressed myself out. Um, and this year I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna stress myself out over silly things. What will happen will happen what will be will be I can't do anything to predict what's going to happen and I can't do anything to stop whatever's going to happen so this year my main aim and goal is to just not stress about anything um, it's a lot easier said than done but that is what I'm going to do and that's my aim and I'm just going to have fun really and see what happens and film stuff along the way so I'm going to take you on that journey. I hope you all had a fantastic new year and a good Christmas. And I will see you wonderful people in my next video. Bye.